Blessed be, and welcome to the Circle of Hecker. I'm Lady Amaris. Now, today, we have something a little interesting, and uh, I put it in the, the category of hide in plain sight, because there's lots of little magical things that you see every day that you may have gone to your grandmother's place and, um, and seen little tiny little crafty things that uh, she may have done, um, when she was younger or maybe even now and um, you would never know that they could also be used as works of magic or were works of magic in the past. Now it's hide in plain sight so it's those little things that you see those little crafty things that you see in everyone's home that can be turned to a, a magical bent uh, can be um, given a magical flavor and it's something that can be displayed in the home if if you're um, if you're new to the craft and you find that uh, friends and family may not quite understand or, or be comfortable with um, seeing pentagrams and, and other um, seen as almost um, scary occult paraphernalia around then you can hide uh, magical things in everyday objects and still have that, that witchy protection, that witchy um, feel to your house without making other people uncomfortable. Um, now, so let's get going. What I've got here is that we're going to make a pomander. Uh, and you can make pomanders with uh, various fruits. Um, um, not, not so much vegetables, but you can make them with fruit. Now I have a, a small lemon here. Again, you can see this the lemon is quite small as my hand. Um, it doesn't have to be large and the skin is, is not too tough. Um, you can use oranges, you can use limes, um, but I, I have a lemon here at the moment. Um, lemons are used quite predominantly when it comes to um, making your home fresh. Um, any, any household cleaner that you, you look at in the supermarket will have some kind of lemon freshness. And lemons are good for chasing away any, any kind of greeblies, any bad juju. If you cut a lemon in half and you squeeze some lemon juice down your sinks, it helps to, to clear some of those ways if there's anything uh, hiding in your sinks when you're doing any kind of house cleaning. Um, and it's also good, obviously, for colds and um, and helps. Uh, one of the helps with uh, making sure that you don't get scurvy. Not the only one, but one of them. Now we have the lemon. We also have some cloves. Now we used cloves in a previous video, so we'll just have a look again. Clove. Let's see if we can do. Clove cam, get nice and close. Yeah, so you can see that little end on there. Now that little end is what will um, disperse the the scent um, as we go. And you can see we have this little bit here. Hopefully it's not too hard to see. And uh, so cloves, if you remember again from the previous video, cloves in um, in French um, are uh, the French word for nail, so um, they look like little nails. So we have those. We have a bit of ribbon. Just some ribbon that I found in, in the, one of my craft boxes. And a little piece of, of wire. And this is gold wire. Um, it can be silver wire, it can be, it can be hat wire, it can be that wire that you use when um, florists are making up bunches of um, bouquets of flowers or different flower arrangements. They use, um, I think it's called flower wire, um, so that they can wrap around and, and, and make sure that the, the plants are going in the correct way. So it's very thin, very easy to, to bend. Okay, so a little bit of wire. We also have something to skewer the, um, the lemon. Okay, just make it a little bit easier. And we also have a little bit of paper. I've got a little bit of brown paper that I've taken from a, from a paper bag. And something to write on. 
Now I've got a pencil here, but you can use anything. If you want to, to add on a little bit of mystique, a bit of magic, you can start using maybe a bit of colour in there and start looking at some of the correspondences to different colours and what, what they mean, and then you can use that for, uh, for this little spell. So this is a little variation on the pomander. Um, because most of them are used just for, for decoration. Now we're going to put a little magical bent on this. So what we're going to do is firstly, we've got our piece of paper. Now I'm just going to put this in half because we don't need a lot. But what we're going to do is we're going to write a little spell or we can put a little sigil um, that you may have made um, on there for something. Now, if this is um, this is going to be put into your home, then it would be something to say promote a, a happy home, a peaceful home. It would be a, a peaceful home spell. If um, if say it uh, is given as a gift, it can be the same thing, or it can be a, a friendship spell, uh, something that will um, foster friendship and. Um, and again, you know, there was always light and dark with everything. And again, if you are that way inclined, you can also use it to give someone a, a curse. But, you know, if you want to go in that direction, then again, you can use your imagination. So you put a little sigil on here. I'm just going to put a little pentacle. Nice there, might do a little bit of a moon on the top, maybe a little sun. Yeah, how about we do it? One moon on one side and one moon on the other. Yeah. So that's what I've what I've done. There's no particular advanced meaning to that, it's just to give you a bit of an idea. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll We'll, uh, we'll fold it up. So what's a nice way of folding it up is if you fold it into a triangle, so it doesn't have to be exact. We'll fold it into, fold it over so it forms a triangle. I have to get used to putting it up against the, the camera so that you can actually see it. No, I'm not putting it too high. So we fold it at once, fold it again, twice. Now, when you're folding something, if you are folding it um, uh, towards yourself, you are bringing in happiness, you're bringing in prosperity. If it's something that you want to repel, um, then you would fold it away from yourself. Yeah. So you've folded it twice and then one more time. So you've still got that nice little, oh, again, still got that nice little triangle. Okay, it's okay that it's got a little bit on here. It kind of looks like an ice cream cone. Okay, so you have your little spell. Now you can charge that. You can charge that with some intent. Okay, whether it's written spell, a sigilized spell, whatever it is, charge it with that intent. Now, what we're going to do with the lemon is that we're going to put that inside the lemon. Now, what might be an easy way to do that is if we use the uh, scissors we have here. Now you can use you can use a little knife as long as you're careful and you don't try and cut yourself. I'm just taking the little I might leave that in there. So just a little bit of a a slit, just. We'll call this the top. So you can see there I've made a little slit. Alright, just a small one. Oh, you can smell the citrus. Very nice. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to insert that into this little bit. So you can see that's there. We insert it in. Now it might, might mean that we have to do, we use this little thing here, make a little bit of space in there so it's a little bit easier to insert. There we go, let's see if that works. So we insert our little our little spell 
little bit more. I might just have to stuff that in there. Okay, we're gonna have to do gonna have to get the big big guns out and make them a little bit bigger. Now I don't need to worry too much that you have made a uh, a slit in here because it will kind of close over later on. Alright, so just stuffing it in. Let's see if you can see there. Just putting it in. Alright. Closing it over. And then again, you can charge that with a bit of intent as to what it is that you want to do. Now, next little bit is that we're going to use the wire. So we're using this wire. Now we don't need all of that. Okay, so we just put it into a little, a little loop because what we're going to do is we're going to create a little, a little hanger so that we can hang this up. So we've got enough on one side and on the other. Alright, and then we just cut a little bit of that off. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to push this into our lemon and um, and then it will pull out and hopefully you see it, it will look kind of like that but on the inside so these little side bits will flare out and um, and keep the uh, the, uh, the lemon from uh, from falling. So we can use that hole that we made. And we can push push it in one side and lean it towards one side. And then we push the other side in. And lean it towards the other side. So we need to push it down a little bit more. Okay, this is where you need to use a bit of, a bit of force. So now you can see how that will will hang. Hopefully you can see that. So all you need to do is to, there we go, that might be a bit easier. All you need to do is to feed your ribbon around and then it can hang from the from the little loop and uh, you can also tie that ribbon. So we'll take that ribbon off for now. And we've got our next little part. So we've got it all ready. We've got our little spell inside. We've got our little hook that we've made so that we can hang this if we'd like. Um, it just makes that a little bit easier to dry and it looks quite nice. Um, you can hang it in your, your cupboard and the smell will, um, uh, in the uh, back, back when we wouldn't have mothballs, you would use um, things like this to uh, not only make your clothes smell quite nice, but also to repel uh, silverfish and moths. So the next thing that we would be doing is that we would be placing these little clothes into the lemon. Now, what you would do is you would make some holes. Now you make them a little, not too far apart, but enough that you can see a little bit of, a little bit of lemon. I'm not sure if you can see. 
we've made some holes you can't really see that but it's okay but it just helps when you start to put your clothes in now the next bit of magic with this is that every time you put in a clove you recite your spell so let's say this is for a happy home um, let's see oh, um, off the top of my head um, happy and joyous home will be wherever this is hung so might it be happy joyous home will be I need to make it a little bit bigger wherever this is hung so might it be and then push it in okay so you have that little clove so each time you push that clove in you are pushing the intent the reason for this your spell into the lemon It's a little harder than it looks actually. You might want to make it a little bit more of a hole so that it actually comes in a bit better because you want to have as many of those little ends on as you can because that's where the smell comes out, the clove smell. It's quite nice. Push it in. Happy safe home will be wherever this is hung so might it be and push it in try and get in as much as you can happy safe Home will be wherever this is hung. So might it be. Oh. Okay, so you can see how that's working. Now I'll just finish it off and uh, we'll see how it looks uh, in a moment. So this takes a little while, so make sure that you've got a little bit of patience. And with each one of the cloves that you put in, remember that we're putting some intent in, we're saying our spell. So at the end this, this pomander will be quite potent because you've spent the time and the energy to, to put that, that magic into the pomander with every single time that you, you place that clove in. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole bit, but here's the finished one that I've done. And uh, it looks quite nice and you can see that the, the cloves are very closely put together. And so once this dries, uh, it'll smell really, really quite nice. And it will be something that you can keep for quite a long time because it dries out, it, uh, there's no mold, there's no, um, there's no offensive smell. So you can hang it, uh, say, on a, on a window like I've, I've just shown you here. Um, and or you could put it on the door um, so that it can be like a protection for the house. And you can see that they're, they're quite nice and they don't look overtly witchy. So it's something that you could hang around the house and no one would know, they'll be the wiser. And um, it's something that you can do for any kind of festival or um, any event uh, and you can give as a present and uh, it's it's quite nice it smells quite nice uh, you can place it in uh, your drawers and um, or as you can see here hanging um, in various places and uh, drawing in uh, good intent so thank you very much and blessed be